Hello, I'm Roland and welcome to Speaking of Everything. With me, I have a very, very, very interesting guest. Always here, all the time, doing a remarkable job on the island for everyone, especially the seniors. My guest is a uh, former commissioner of St. Martin, and she's right here with us. Uh, this is Patricia Flanders. How are you doing? Fine, thank you, Oral Gibbs. And how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. It's good to have you. <laughs> so, um, you will have me again. Everything going great? So far, very good outside here. Mm. Things going excellent, especially when it comes to the seniors. Yeah. <laughs> that comes to the home away from home. <laughs> mm, that's nice. You know, you, you're one of the few St. Martin politicians mm -hmm. that uh, care so much for the people. You're in and out of politics, you're always there campaigning, but you're always still there for the people. And I got to tell you, a lot of people admire you for that. Thank you so much for that. You're welcome. Comment. You're president of the Home Away From Home Foundation. Yes. You're also president of another... Um, seniors and Pensioners oh, Foundation. Good. So you focus on seniors when everybody is forgetting seniors. Yes, I tend to really forget and since just during the election, everybody talking about seniors. Uh -huh. After the election, nobody's, <laughs> they, they all forget that they have seniors and they live along. Yeah. You know, and this is one of the things that St. Martinus have and the politicians who have to consider mm. that seniors make a contribution to this country and they live along. So you have to cherish them. When you see a senior make 103 years, or 104 years, you know, it's one of the things you could do is come out and take care of that senior in whatever way possible. Not only with a bouquet of flowers, it's good, but anything else because you don't know sometimes they have great needs, you know? Mm. And I would like to see much more for that, especially of International Day of the Senior. If they can start choosing some elder seniors and bring them and highlight them. Yeah. I like them, you know, I like, and then you give them a, a little bouquet, a little flower or something like that. You know, let, let people know about these seniors, because there's a lot of seniors out there that you need to know about that has contributed this island of St. Martin, which is called home. Yeah. You know, it's so amazing because we tend to treat our seniors like uh, they're not important, and they play a major role in getting us to where we are today. I, I do believe that why people treat our seniors like they're not important because they feel that the younger ones coming up mm. and they should have all the glory. But don't forget once these same seniors were young too. Yeah. And you're gonna be one day the same way where they is and you're gonna feel the pinch that they are feeling today. Yeah. So you really have to take care of the seniors right now. And when senior month just passed October, I didn't get to wish everybody a happy senior day because I get caught up with so many mm. other stuff. But at this time, I like to tell you all year round is senior day for me. And I like to wish that to each and every one of the seniors around this island, St. Martin, wherever it is, wish them a happy, belated International Senior Day. But you know, coming from you, you, you your work speaks for itself. Uh, there's no one that I know of maybe they are, but I don't know, that dedicate so much of their time to seniors in St. Martin? Well, to be honest, I don't want to speak about myself. I prefer when people can speak about me, you know, <laughs> because you will never speak anything ill about yourself. Mm -hmm. But as far as I know, no one can come close to me when they come to seniors. Because I go all the way out. When I say all the way, all the way, 100%, I'm there behind the senior. I'm there to help them, whatever the needs are. If I, up to the day, I'm still taking lunch for seniors, send the COVID. Because they couldn't come to the center, yeah. some for many reasons. Couldn't come to the center because maybe they had a foot off, or some of them, they get sick, you know. And I continue that trim. And if you was a senior by me, mm. as long as you at home, and I can send you something to make you to cherish your mind and say, you know, I have someone take that to you to make you feel still that you're important. Because you need to feel important, like Charlie Myers. He, it's a pity, what a nice voice. If you see him in the center and you hear him singing, I was surprised. He sing, he dance, but unfortunately he gets sick. And because he got sick, 
this is what happened to him, you know? He get put aside. And I hope that everybody did went and visit, visit him while he was there, like I did. I had someone go every Monday, every Friday, to take something for him. And I hope that other people just don't mourn the loss alone, but real, just think about it that you had been there for him for one minute. Yeah. And that's a fact. Not now he yeah. died, you hear a lot of this and this and this and this, but you need to look at the person even when they're down at the worst time and make certain that they, even they don't recognize you because he couldn't recognize nobody no more. So for him, he was just living the world of yeah. his own. But it's, it's I met his wife on Monday. I went mm -hmm. to visit one of my seniors that was in the hospital. And she told me he was there, but he was coming out. So after she told me that I feel good, so I didn't worry, try to go to see him. Yeah. Otherwise, I would have seen him Monday. But my sister was there, and she happened to see him for the last. And she called me right away, and she said, Patsy, what a sad thing. Charlie just passed. He was such so a tell you that I'm still caring for seniors up to today, even though the, the pandemic has slowed down. They can conk and get in something from me on a Monday and a Friday. And even when they got birthdays, I still send them a little piece of cake, the little drinks, whatever I could send for them, I still send for them, make them feel, you know, mm. part of the of the home away from home family. You know, it's, it's so, you know, talking about Charlie Myers, um, he did a lot to Simran. He was president of the Simran Chamber of Commerce. You know, he was involved in that um, big um, heavy equipment operation at the time. And he was the kind of guy who didn't look at what political party you supported, you know? He was there with you if it was for Samaritan. I know during my political career, I know he was there, because we get in the office, we sit down with Mr. Duncan here and Leo, and we talk and we uh -huh. yeah, we had so much fun together, you know? Discussing all kind of politics, even though he, there was one when I was the next right, week. Right. So we had that, I had that communication with Charlie. And when he come to the center, and I see him, believe you me, I felt so bad because imagine you know somebody and you see how you walk during the big heavy equipment. I could imagine him walking through the heavy equipment when I see Charlie, I said, boy, what was a posture he had on him and a talk yeah. and see how he become. You said yeah. in your mind and your heart, you feel sorry when you see him. I was so sorry when I see him like that, you know, but you know, this is a part of life. You know, when, when I was a little boy, my, my mother always said once a man, twice a child. And I couldn't understand it at the time, but now I n yeah. know what she meant at the time. And it's a very common saying. It's a uh, common thing. Yeah. It could happen to any, any one of us. Yeah. We can be high, high, high now, and tomorrow we can fall. Yeah. So yeah. Then we, what we have to do is just to remember those, fall, those when they fall down and come short. Visit them. Speak to them. Cherish them. N not only when they had good time, but also remember them in the bad time. Yeah. Sometimes they remember you, and sometimes they don't. But you have to do that. Yeah. Uh, in case you've just joined us, this is speaking of our thing on Facebook, YouTube, and on Hot ninety nine point nine FM radio. My guest in the program is a uh, former commissioner and president of the Samaritan Senior uh, Citizens and Pensioners Association, and she's also president of the Home Away from Home. Um, and I have another association another as one well. Too? Yeah, which, tell me about that one. The Golden Age the Association Golden. Age on the French side of St. Martin. Can't leave it off. See, on both sides. <laughs> so on both sides of the island now. That's nice, that's nice. And uh, you all meet, what days during the week? Well, I meet Mondays. Thursday, they do aerobics. Uh -huh. Friday, they're back at the center. Yeah. Wednesday, I go to the French side for one day. And believe you me, the people are so happy to see me come over there. So, you know, I have my hands really, I, sometimes I keep wondering, how are you going to make it? You know, but God give me the health and the strength. Without yeah. him, I don't think I can make yeah. it. No, that's good though that you're doing. And it keep you, it keep you young, man. It keep you fit, it keep yeah. you young. And I, I guess that's one of the reasons that I'm looking so young, as people <laughs> would say. <laughs> what, what, are, what are some of the things you're hearing from senior citizens on St. Martin that concerns you? A lot of things concern me on St. Martin. Mm. I, you know, people was talking about a pension. Mm. But if I have to talk on pension, I always like to talk 
what I believe in, even if somebody don't believe in it, because I believe the government cannot do much more, but they can do certain things to help you. They can, they can ask businesses to help the seniors with buying the food, give them a little voucher it's now gone. and again, do something like that to help. That is one of the things that I had campaign on. But apparently, seniors feel, you know, she's too old, so I ain't gonna worry with her. Where she is, leave her stay. You know, I, one of my seniors come up to me after election. And I was sitting there and she came to me and she said, Patsy, I'm so glad to see you sitting down there. If you had gone, who would have been with us? So, so I said, but I just watched her with my hand full. I couldn't say a word. <laughs> I, 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 you know, at one minute I feel a kind of, you know, your mind was, you don't know what to say because I didn't expect it. Then I had another one come up to me again and say, you know, Patsy, you know why people didn't vote for you? Because they don't want you to leave there. Who but, gonna take care of us? That's true in a way. I yeah. said, but if that's what people are thinking, I would have taken care of you better when I'm inside here. But they didn't think about they don't that. They see that way, though. You know, they didn't yeah. see that way. They just seen, I there, and if I gone, who gonna take care of me? Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and I was surprised to see her come blunt to me in the morning and tell it to me. Yeah. I just sort of watch her head to foot and I just smile. And, and that's how head. most of them think. And that's why I always say to you, you know, you're doing so much. And every time you campaign out, they don't see it reflecting in the numbers because they want you there in the other capacity. That's what I learned to know, especially on this last yeah. one. Yeah. I learned to know that because the first person tell me that, I was a kind of, you know, I was kind of disappointed, but yeah. I didn't listen. <laughs> and then later on, somebody walk in the center, they come by honest. me and tell it to me again. Then all about the same, but if you who want to take care of the seniors, then you're the best person for them. And, <laughs> say, but, <laughs> and I just, so I just smile it off. Yeah. Because what else could I say? But, you know, that's, that's how it is. With, um, that's how it is. Yeah. And that's how some people believe in it. And I guess, I guess it had to be a, a conversation because the time before, she, that same person who came to me, particular, she said, I didn't want to become my family, want me to work for somebody. Else. And she was so upset. Mm. And I watched her, she was upset. She was crying. She said, I even don't have a word for the person correct because they didn't want to work for them. And now, this, and the space of the next election, you come and tell me that? Uh -huh. So that's what it, that is what it was going around talking about. So, you know, what to do? And, and you think you'll, you'll run again, or this is it? Sorry? You think you'll run again, or...? or? Oh, no, that's a hard question to say. I think I will be too old that time to run. You're never too old, yeah? Yeah. I know you're never too old, but by that time, I might still be too old. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. But sometimes you never say never, because you never know yeah. what, what will happen in the future. You never know, but I leave it alone. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's, it's amazing when you see where St. Martin is today. You, you've you made history in many areas, in the hospitality area, where you were the first female metro day in St. Martin, you know, um, went on to be a commissioner in government, uh, working and helping people. You, you've done a real lot. And I, and I think in St. Martin, at times, this generation that is here today don't know and understand that at times. You know, if people would understand and think about life, mm. or at least some of the seniors that think about the life and the way that I think about it, they would have voted for it. didn't have to be me. Could be anybody that they're defending the seniors exactly. would have been a bigger interest for them. Because remember, when you're in office, I could meet MP Sarah, just, and just pick on her, mm. and I could ask her many things. But she has so much things to do that when she gets back there, uh, she didn't remember, I just speak to John. So she continued, and when John see, I know he get mad because he, he didn't get what he wanted from her. Because she has so much to do. So you need somebody who there for the seniors, the seniors, the seniors alone. And they must deal with seniors, and not forgetting the young ones because they're coming up too. But the seniors should be one of the priority. They should have somebody directly dealing with seniors. Uh, I, There's a I, lot of things that seniors need outside there. Some can't afford their homes. They can't pay the rent. Some can't pay the water because the little money they get is not enough. The children, don't depend on your children. 
I keep telling people that all the days of my life, don't depend on your children, depend on yourself until you see you can't do nothing more. Because your children need just like how you need. Yeah. Yeah. They are suffering just like how you are suffering. And that's where something goes wrong, that they say, oh, my child going to do this, my child going to do that. No. <laughs> you got to pen that you have to have somebody to defend the seniors 100%. Right. I think we got to go to a break, all right? Uh, when we come right back here on Speaking of Other Things on YouTube, Facebook, and on Hot 99.9 .9 FM Radio. There you see my guest, uh, Homo Commissioner and President of the St. Martin Home Away, Home Away From Home Foundation, Senior Citizens Pensioner Association, and the other one on the French Golden side Age is Golden Age. I mean, it's She's a super lady. <laughs> so when we come back, we're going to continue right here on Speaking of Everything. Please stay with us. My guest on Speaking of Other Things is former Commissioner Patricia Flanders. She's my guest. And, uh, you know, um, you like cake? Sorry? You like cake? If I like it? Cake, cake, cake. cake. You know, you ever heard about um, the cake boss genius? <laughs> <laughs> the cake boss senior? No, the cake boss genius. You know genius, the Calypsonian? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He makes them. I think he's the best cake maker in Samoa. I call him the our oh, cake boss. Oh, Calypso. You, 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 got the, you, you never tried his cake? Yeah. And the, I don't think so, you know. But you, no, I gotta, no, 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 no. Look, I'm going to get her a special cake from the cake boss. The Maybe cake the, box. The cake, no, I call him the cake boss. The cake but boss. But the company is called the cake, cake box. box. Yes. Right, the cake box. And they're right there in, um, in Colby, Wesley Street, number 10 Colby. Lagoon, and you can give, always give the cake box a call at 581, that's 581 2171 or 581 2175. Now, Christmas is just around the corner, you know that, right? Just uh, what, about a few days away from Christmas, right? <laughs> <laughs> we still have a while to go, but you can start from now preparing for any occasion so it doesn't have to be just Christmas it can be a birthday a wedding you name it and I tell you the cakes are great their tarts their puddings their pineapple upside down cashew cake you name it you'll get it all at the cake box right so I gotta get you one of those cakes from the cake box and I'm gonna bring you back to see what you say about it all right okay thank you <laughs> Okay, kids, if you're joining us, this is Speaking of Earth, I'm Oral Gibbs here with uh, this is Patricia Flanders. So, what what are your plans for the seniors now? Sorry? What, what are your plans? What other plans do you have? You have any? For the seniors? Yeah. Well, I have Valentine coming up for them. You don't plan already, boy, for 2025. Yeah, 20, you don't yeah, make you have a big Valentine for them. And then I had, I did not get to do the International Day of the Seniors mm. activity. So as I say, every year is in every month, every day is International Day of Seniors. So I'll be celebrating. It. I didn't plan the date yet, but in November. Okay, good. But um, you do you do something special for Christmas too? Yes, I have Christmas party. Okay, and um, you keep it. You like you have the date already? Um, Most time it's like the the eighteenth or the nineteenth of December. Of December. Okay, good. Uh, I I I got I got some for you for that day too. Don't worry, a cake from the cake boss coming to you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I keep it closed, and then after I close the center for the holidays. Right, right. So you, you're going every month, and you're going every week, two or three times a week, right? Yes. Yeah. And um, when it comes to um, support in terms of funding and so forth, is that still an issue, or are you basically... Well, it's not a big issue because you get funding from the Samaritan Development Funds. Okay. And uh, if it was not for them, the foundation could not survive. 
So thank God for that. Then we had for RC, they gave some funding also, mm -hmm. which was good. They gave a breakfast also. This world was nice. Wow. So they saw a breakfast for the last, for the going out. That was, mm -hmm. I would say the farewell. <laughs> okay. You know? And um, so somebody supposed to take up the slack now on the breakfast. I don't know who would give them the breakfast now that they can have a good breakfast, not just maybe a piece of bread, but you know, mm -hmm. the whole works with it. So I'm looking forward, if not for the balance of the year, for the beginning of the year, that I can get a breakfast going in the morning. Because there's one thing seniors come to the center. Mm. Sometimes when they get up in the morning, they have to rush to catch the bus. Now, when you get up with all the aches and the pain, by the time you straighten up, you can't get a cup, of, a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. So when you come to the center, you're glad that you reach there and you can get a breakfast. And that, that make a day. Because if you look at the line, they start from the door in because they really mm. want to have something. So the breakfast for seniors, I would like somebody to sponsor it. Okay. You that know, is. because it's very good. And they could always come and see because remember when you spend for the breakfast, you're going to see the seniors enjoying it. You can come and see them mm. yourself. You know, it's not you're asking for it because you feel, oh, I should ask for it and keep the money. No, no, no is the seniors enjoying that breakfast and they look forward to it. Mm. That's one of the things I like to truck and hope that somebody would outside hear it and say, okay, I'm gonna give the seniors a breakfast starting as of January. And you so if, if they wanna do that and they're watching this or listening to this. And uh, they could do it a year round. What, what number they can call? They call 520 20, 21 36. I don't, I don't remember. Okay, good. At least I got one number there. I got two, but I can't really next Yeah, there's no problem. And they call always get in touch with me. Some people get in touch with me at all. Yeah, get in touch with me too. That's let you know, yes. Right, yeah. Definitely. They seem to be more than happy. Yeah. You know, it's, um, I know that a lot of seniors are very um, depressed at times and uh, very lonely. Uh, when they see video of the island, they are, they're so happy. I, I know that from experience. So I'm going to meet me this boy, you know. I was watching the show and you show these different pictures of the island and I enjoy it because I don't get a chance to go out. Do you take them on those little bus tours like you used to in the past? Or? COVID have come and spoil our boat oh, cruise. COVID mess, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, right now the seniors are asking me again to look for a cruise for them for the next year. Yeah. Because they said they like to go out, you know. They don't have the money but they want to get a little cheap cruise, sit down. You know, it is fun to go out and enjoy themselves, sit down and see some other place and meet some other seniors. Like once I went to Hawaii, and believe you me, I have to say, Tani passed and gone. When we came back, Tani was on the trip, and we had planned to open a string band of ladies. Mm. The same music that Tani was singing. He brought the shakarak and all these things, but quickly after that he passed away and there was nobody else to offer that type of service to the seniors. And I had a lot of seniors in that time. I still have some marvelous voices. I'm planning to do a show with them. They sing where it could be St. Martin's, yes, but you could, where you was born, you can sing your, mm. your anthem too. And that is something I'm planning to do. I was in pipeline over a couple months already. So next year, God's will have a hope that that'd be one of the big projects I can get up. And I will let everybody know they can come and listen to these voices. That's good, yeah, yeah. You just like, I hope that somebody had the voice on Charlie because he's singing in the center and I never know he has such a tremendous voice. Such a good singer. Yeah? He was such a good singer. Yeah, he was such a good singer. Yeah. I got to look, see if I could find it still. But you recorded it? I had recorded it, yeah. Wow, that's great. That's so I have to look for it, see yeah. if I could find it. So so um, I know that you, you have more women than men in the city. I don't know. The men feel that like I'm macho. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gibbs, I'm sorry to say that the men are macho. And so they don't come. And if the men, if you do get men to come in, they have a challenge because remember you have some senior, but they still have a senior mind. Yeah. You know, <laughs> that's it. You know, they still have a mind that they would like to have a lover. Uh -huh. You know, some seniors, not all, yeah. but some you'll find with that same temperament. Yeah. And if you have a young man come in there, he's not young, but he's a senior, he can find himself in trouble because somebody can fall in love with him. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> so for me, I love seniors to come in, but the less, the better. Oh. Less problem. <laughs> <laughs> we 
But it was amazing because I always tell people you look at carnival. Yes. There are more women and men jumping in carnival too. Well, maybe that maybe that's going to be true that there are more women and men. Yeah. You go to church. Some. You go to you go to the Catholic church in the morning. Look around. You might see one or two men. Uh, again, all women. I mean, women rule the world now. Uh, that's why. That's why our next president is going to be a woman, hopefully. <laughs> I have a whole opinion for that one. <laughs> um, you know, it's it's amazing because when you look at yeah. at women and where they are today, the world today can't function without women. They play a very important role in the world. And I'm not saying that a man cannot do a good job, but when a woman when a woman get in a position, uh-huh. they can do a good job, and sometimes better than a man because yeah. they know all. They know everything. They know the man. They know the woman. The, the man doesn't know the woman like how the woman know the man. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you know, and they bring that 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 unity together. Yeah, definitely important. You know, and it's you know it it, it helps. You know, when you when you look at the island and you are born here, you you spend all your life here, and you look at some modern today. I gotta ask you. I ask you this all the time. What surprised you most? Sorry. What really surprised you most? If you, if I look at St. Martin to what I knew before, I, when I walk around and I see, I say, why? The first thing I say, Lord, if my brother was alive and come back now, he'd be surprised to see the St. Martin he had no. You won't recognize He wouldn't recognize it. He'd <laughs> be unrecognizable. <laughs> <laughs> and most time I'd find myself saying that. Yeah. You know, because yeah, I love the country so much that I would say, boy, if Nalo come back today. He would say, well, I didn't know this, I didn't know that, because it's so changed. Yeah. St. Martin is changing. You know, and I must say they have a lot of things that the government can help in, mm-hmm. but not everything. We are our own supposed to start helping ourselves. We need to put a lot of pride in what we're doing as well to help build St. Martin as well. Because we sit down and wait for government, they cannot do everything. Yeah. People don't realize that. And people does not realize that. Yeah. They realize that government can do everything, but no, there's, they can take care of the seniors a little better though. Yeah. <laughs> I won't forget that. They can yeah. take care of the seniors a little better. They can come out to the seniors and make them feel, you know, right. feel welcome. Yeah. They have places they can go all to the senior club and they can meet the seniors. When this lady make a hundred and three years, Sarah turned down her foot off. Yeah. She had everybody on the toes. <laughs> then you look, the prime minister couldn't make it, and I want to say I appreciate what he did. He could not have made it because I had a budget meeting. Yeah. But he called, and he made certain that he came to greet the hundred and three year person. And I thought that was a blessing because the days had passed. So then she had to come again and sit down for him to see her. And she talked to him and she tell him, you know, I'm glad you come to see me. And the same thing when she sit down there, she said, but see, she said, oh, I see Sarah. I said, <laughs> <laughs> I said, the true she ain't rich yet. And then I went back to the call and see what I did not realize there was a budget meeting. Mm. So when I go to call, look, Sarah come in, she tell her, Sarah was looking for you now. A hundred and three years. And when the Prime Minister came, she said, I'm so glad to see you. She said, I'm happy you come to well, see she me. Saw, she saw Sarah. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's sharper than a blade. Oh, wow, that's great. That's she great. tell me, I tell her I'm going to come to help dress her. She said, I can dress myself. When I reach there, I will let you know. A <laughs> hundred and three. She... A hundred and three. That's Wilson is the last name. What's her first? Hodge, Wilson Hodge. It's amazing, amazing. It's amazing how she is. Yeah. And you, you have any men that are over 100 in the organization? I have 98. So I tell the one that is 98, Mr. Dorothy Surratt, try keep up to make the 100. <laughs> <laughs> so I did yeah, Pep, no, yes, uh-huh. she, yes, she was in the center. You know, I said, Miss Dorothy, I want you to make 100, but I take care of 99, and your daughter taking care of 100. <laughs> So, but so, but you have one man you said that's close to it. We have um, just just a few men. Uh, Mr. Manning is there. Okay. I had Valley, but through his wife, he gets sick. Yeah. He He's not there no more. And I have less. I have one or two men. Not oh, much. Okay. Not much men. You can count them on yeah. your fingers. Well, well, you know, I I I just want to wish you all the best and really congratulate you for the great job you're doing. Anything else you want to add? 
Okay, all right. I would like to thank you really for this opportunity that I can say a few words to the seniors out there and tell them that, you know, now we are getting closer to our time. So all we have to do is unity one with another, pray for one another, and see if government will help. Do some mega. We need to get a, a you need to get a, a thing about government, you know, for seniors. Just like how you make something the rights of the child, we need one for the rights of the seniors. So it can be a book that they can look after for years to come and treat all the seniors the same way. Yeah. And we need somebody in government just to deal with the seniors. And come, to, you know, you can visit the houses all the time, but maybe you have somebody who could say, no, visit that person, visit that person, see how they're doing outside there. Because they do look for it. Well, I'll tell you, um, God bless you, man, because I don't know what Samrat will be like and what seniors will be like without you. You you really dedicated your life uh, to this very important group in our community. Well, in order to be truthful, I dedicate that sometimes the senior beg me to stop. You know, they tell me, cool down, because they say, you make yourself, you want to get tired, you know, they don't want me to get tired, you know. And especially they know I have eight screws in my body, you know, so they make it sure that the eight screws stay intact, you know. Uh -huh. Don't do too much, don't do. I say, but I got to move around. If I sit down on the, I, I don't be no use yeah. to myself, you no, know. That, that's good. So man. Okay. Before we leave, I want to say one minute, ahead, give one minute silence. All yours. Uh, give one minute silence to Charlie Myers. Yeah, okay. That's as an icon like, that he was on St. Right. Martin, let's yeah. remember him for one minute on the radio. So I one guess minute could, I could acknowledge him, but uh, one minute silent will take too long. Yeah, but people turn off. Yeah, They'll so turn I off. Can't yeah. do that one. Yes. But I, okay. I, um, I understand what you're saying. Yes. Charlie Myers was a great St. Martin. Huh? Um, I admire him a lot. Mm -hmm. He was the kind of person that never made you feel different because he was of a different political party, what have you. He was a great. Um, patriot for this island and uh, I think uh, he made a good contribution I just want I think he did too yeah, yeah. So because I remember as I said before I remember we sitting together in Duncan office and we chatting and having fun talking and everybody saying what are you gonna do for the next government you know yeah. what not you know yeah. it was very nice of him and I I never can forget the day when we had that um, that blockage on, on yeah. the square Charlie was wrong, wrong. 1990, Charlie, right? Eh? That was 1990, somewhere there. It was, I think, 1980, 1990 or 1989, somewhere around there. I think it was 1990. Yeah, yeah. well, anyway, uh, again, yes. I want to um, wish you much and my condolences to the Myers family because we've lost a great patriot. Anything else you want to add in closing? Thank you so much, Aurora, for having me, and thank radio listeners for listening as well. The next time I would like to have an open program. All right. <laughs> we have you back on the radio and TV. This is yes. TV now mainly, but we'll have it in the radio also, all right? Yes. Okay, good. And that's it for now here on Speaking of Our Thing on YouTube, Facebook, and on Hot 99.9 FM Radio. See you next time. Take care. Bye.